This week on Address I don't want to go there. Go! The last place I've gone. Ah! But that's where I hey! end up. Ah! It's not me talking to the pink flamingo, but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail. Except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo. It's always red. Then he got needy. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your peaks like it meant something. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah! You're dead, Pain! What the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss. Got me to be I made like Chow Yun fat. Ah! A crumpled letter lay on Gagnetti's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnetti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. Gagnetti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in the stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. Gagnetti hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. 
and somewhere in the background the wail of sirens, the city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward, dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagnetti made his move. 